They're just sad. Oh, so it's stupid to be poor. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. It's stupid to give away all your money. Why? Why would you become poor when you're rich? If, if money doesn't bring happiness, why wouldn't you try it the other way around? Has there been a rich person that's done that? And no, got happy? because capitalism. I don't no, know. No, because once you have because money... obviously if you did that, you wouldn't be famous. That's the problem. It's like, people equate money to fame, and that's not the same thing. No, it's not. No, there that's different. There are plenty different. of millionaires that nobody's ever fucking heard of. Yep. Absolutely. I could name one. And I wish they were all that way, because I don't care about any of them. I actually searched them on the internet to see. Millionaires? Well, of what? Um, and I was like, oh, okay. I think China actually has more millionaires than we do nowadays. Have they been Craig in a minute? Well, they are. Their population is bigger than ours, isn't it? Uh, maybe. I'm surprised they allow that. I think. Their yeah. government. I don't care. I mean, it all goes back to China anyway, so do they care? But you know what China does instead of the U.S.? Because U.S. has millionaires, but they do their own thing. China's millionaires invest into infrastructure and farming and making the country uh, actually good again. They do. Uh, they do. Because they don't have a choice. Whereas here, millionaires <laughs> are like, Hey, daddy, government, can I have tax breaks even though I have millions of dollars and could afford my taxes? Well, that's because the tax breaks are encoded in there and we should not have that. We should have a flat tax. Yeah, China. Oh, is India number one? I thought India was number one. Yeah, India nope, should. It's China, barely. China, India, and then United States is third. Third. Okay. I, don't I know knew what, we were We didn't have. Because we only have like three hundred thirty-one billion million million million. But they have one point four billion. Right. They have significantly. Money. Right. I'm surprised but they are a they actually company, beat out country. Right. What does that have to do? Well, I mean, their citizens aren't free. I mean, it's a communist country. Are we free? Yes, we are. Okay. I mean, maybe if we had a million Are you allowed to do whatever you want on a daily basis? I'm not going to debate yes. communism because you <laughs> have no... I was just asking if they were. And you, you I, I actually, and I don't, moved on. I actually don't know the finer okay. workings of their government. We like to say we're a democracy. We're really not. But, you know, so I don't really know the inner workings of... Uh, I just know I think they are generally racist. Which is only really annoying if you work in IT because you have to deal with the Great China Firewall. Great China Firewall? Yeah. Basically any traffic that goes in and out of China over, you know, certain types of internet traffic uh -huh. goes through what is called by IT people, it's not a real thing. Well. It is a real thing. It's not actually called that. It's a Great China Firewall. Okay. Basically, the Chinese government monitors all traffic going in and out, digital traffic of China. Weird. Um, to make sure that they're getting. The oh, thing is, that is their like, news is coming out and not what that what they want no, to come out is coming out, not, not what the It's just that they get their piece. So, like, anytime you agree to, like, you know how people are always like, oh, you do, you have your factory in China to save money. Well, right. what you're agreeing to whenever you do work in China is that they get to use your IP for whatever the fuck they want. Oh. And that's why you see a lot of Chinese companies like Wish.com will sell like ripoffs of literally every IP out there. Like they sell Dragon Ball Z merch that's obviously not theirs, but they don't ever get takedowns or anything like that because those companies agree to do factories in China. So China's getting their piece by selling rip yeah. off of their merch i mean that's just the that's down ridiculous. i mean they could just you know pay workers the right amount in other countries but they chose to do it in china because it's cheaper well because our yeah and I'm... that's just part of the business and that's why china makes so much money is because they're like you we'll we'll do we'll treat our workers like shit for you and yeah. also make a shit ton off of your your original ip as long as you only pay this price and that's how they make their money and you can't fault china for that really. hmm. You should fault the people who are taking their business exactly. there because they're fucking cheap asses. Right. China's just getting theirs. I mean, my, if if a mom in freaking Oregon was doing the same thing, nobody would blink twice, you know? Note to... What's your face again? Holly Carden. Yeah. That, um... Kelsey's mother tears up the page. No, the paper should be better. It'd be better. <gasps> 
That is, no, let's put it in a nice way. A critique would be. <laughs> you me a critique. Okay. Yeah, but you said it me. I did not. You did. What? Paper should be better. It should. But you said it in a mean way, so I said it in a nice way. I mean, way. you took it in a mean way, just because. No, you said it in a mean way. You're so like, fucking Even your sensitive. tone was mean. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know we were talking I to a it. child. Or not. We're talking to I an adult. I know we are, because you're so stanced. I almost that the pieces over here. <laughs> well, there's more, so don't and worry. It should be folded here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would just refold it. Would you? Yeah, just, I mean, at this point, you... I'm really scared, too, because it's going to ruin it. I mean, it's, it's okay. just... We're going to throw it away. It's so. No, not. Okay. It gets put back in the box okay. with the puzzle. Okay, okay. What I'm, the heck? I'm never going to do this puzzle again. How do you know? Maybe when Corey gets older, he'll say, hey, can oh, we do this puzzle? puzzles again, I found the puzzle. I think it's... Not the exact puzzle, but it's very much like the puzzle that I did repeatedly as a child. A Harry Potter puzzle. Really? That I did it over and over and over again. I think I found that Ravensburger did that puzzle. Really? And I think I'm going to buy it. I don't know. It's kind of expensive and I don't want to give Harry Potter any money, but like, it's my childhood. But would Harry Potter get money from it? I don't know. It's technically... I think Ravensburger would. I think Warner Brothers would get some money from it. So did you ever go in and see if you could get... Karen puzzles puzzle. Oh yeah, I forgot. About I can't that. get. I can't get it. She said it was on pre-order, but whenever I, I went to that page, it was like sold out. But yeah. I, I don't know how a pre-order could be sold out. I don't either. So I can't get it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's all you. Rude. Isn't it like fifty bucks though? But it's a three thousand piece. Oh, that's true. I guess. So that's pretty cheap for three thousand. Hmm. It is. I, I guess it is. It that, is. That one blue kazoo puzzle is 50 bucks and it was only in Yeah, I'm, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I paid, I think, 40 for Holly Cardin's, but they are so worth every penny. I love Yeah, it's her hard to judge. I think that's my biggest problem with it. Like, I. My biggest problem with the blue kazoo puzzles, the rest of the puzzles are 35. Right. And then this one's 50 just because it glows in the dark, and it's like. I, I can't imagine that you found $15 worth more. Yeah. It was because of the season, because I've seen it cheaper. Really? Yes. And that, and that that's fair. That's another honestly. thing. Honestly. I don't like. But, but they are good quality puzzles. I would rate hers number one, honestly. And I would rate yeah. I like Blue Kazoo and shiny. the Minty Fizz. Because it's still a little shiny, but Blue Kazoo is a lot more. Actually, yes. Because the Minty Fizz is not being as shiny minty I think fizz, I would do yeah. second minty fizz really? I, I, I think I would and then blue kazoo I like the pieces better on this but I do yes. like the non-shininess better on minty fizz that's what I'll say I, I can't rate them really I think they're the same I would put them on the same level huh because I couldn't in good faith say that this one is higher than minty fizz because of the shininess which I think is a huge factor but minty fizz doesn't have shine I know that's what I'm saying oh is since Minty Fizz doesn't have the shine, but these pieces are so satisfying. Right, that's why I'm saying this is number one. Minty Fizz is number two. It's so shiny, comparatively. This one? Compared to Minty Fizz? This isn't shiny. Compared to Minty Fizz. It's shiny. No. I mean, it I can't like see a... any of the stuff that's going on right here. Really? I can see the whole puzzle. Huh, well, just move it so I can see. Nice. <laughs> I was like, did we move that light so that there's not a shine? <laughs> I mean, we could probably turn the umbrella down, but now I can see the whole thing. If you didn't have such a blind mother, we wouldn't have to have so many lights. You know what I bought today before you walked in? Oh, no. Um, so we have those LED strips, but they're too bright, or they weren't bright enough. Either. They weren't bright enough. Option. Did you buy a light for the top? No, I bought a diffuser for LED lights. Oh. So I'll have to get another strip because that one's not bright enough, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I thought that I had the problem with that one was that it was too. I think it was too like direct, wasn't it? We could see like a line. Yeah, it was just. Okay. Yes. It was. It there wasn't enough light coming off of it to make a difference, and it was just putting a dot on right. the table. So what I bought was essentially what those umbrellas do, 
where they diffuse the light. Right. But it's just like a, a strip that you put the LED strip in. Uh huh. So we'll have to see if it works. If not, we'll just run out and go buy some LED But I didn't think it had enough light to do anything. Like it wasn't making any difference. Well, I think it's just because we didn't turn light. it up high enough. Because that, that one, oh. would be, if we turned it up high enough to make a difference, it was too shiny. Okay. Because it doesn't have enough diffusing. I think that's my biggest problem is not having an overhead. Right. And I agree. But this like, one I can I'm, actually whenever see. Whenever I'm checking the the picture oh it does it's not that dark on okay. my monitor um this one has a little i don't this tv has a little bit of like a weird grayness to it that darkens and also lightens everything i don't know what's wrong with it um but whenever i'm editing that on my computer the problem is is like this will be super dark and then the sides will be right so i have to choose which one i want so we need something definitely in the middle for sure but it's a new TV. It's just how TVs are made. It's because it's an LED TV. Ugh. Rude. I, I just didn't pay. want to spend the money on a 4K because it's stupid. It's, it, I mean, it's a lot better than what we had. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, that's without a doubt, so. I'm not, I mean, it, it looks, it, I mean, it looks fine. Yeah. Not. It's just a little dark. It's just because, like, the dark darks and the light lights are not correct, but I don't want to I hate, I hate setting TV settings because they never make okay. me happy. So that's two things I need for him to do. Set the TV. Fix the TV. And JD's put a lot, my chair together. I will say JD's a lot better at, like, setting, like, yeah. picture quality because he knows what he's doing. I just fuck around till it looks right. Yeah. And then I get frustrated halfway through each <laughs> I just want the TV to look like a monitor. Why does it have to have so much like input on what's on the screen? Just, I agree with you. I even set it to PC mode. I was like, stop the what? PC mode, which is where it generally oh, doesn't. Because yeah. the thing is, is my computer's doing all the hard work of adjusting graphics. I don't need the stupid fucking TV <laughs> to do it. The TV is not intelligent. Okay. Gosh. So angry. Now, I get sick of text. I don't know if you know this, but I work in IT. No way. I get sick of shit. You really? I just want shit to work. Oh, you did. Oh, hey. Put that piece down. I was laughing in our meeting. So it ended up being good that you canceled on Thursday because oh. I got pulled into a meeting I wasn't aware we were having because oh. they forgot to invite me. And I was like, oh, why didn't you continue to forget? <laughs> and it lasted three hours. <gasps> I know. I didn't go to lunch until like 1.30 that day. Oh my gosh. Which I can't really complain about because our UK guy went back to the UK this week. Okay. So it was like 7 p.m. But whatever. <laughs> it still sucked. So he for everybody involved. Well, we can all complain. Yeah. I mean, he said the meeting, to be fair. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> um, yes, but did he know it was going to go that long? No. Well, probably, because we've done it before. Um, what's his name? Uh, it was. So that meeting spurred a second meeting. Oh, gosh. Uh, I love meetings about meetings. I love them. I used to love them. It wasn't a meeting about a meeting. The pre-meeting and the post-meeting about the meeting. I it was loved just, it. Uh, it was like, uh, oh, we should probably meet about this. We'll do it tomorrow. And um, because their director wasn't in the first one. So in the second meeting, he's like, I don't know. Kelsey will figure it out. You tell us how you want to do it. I was like, <laughs> you mean I get to work? I can delete everything and start from scratch and reorganize it all? And he's like, sure. And I was like, <laughs> he's like, that's why we love you. So just do it. And I was like, my director's the best human in the world. Oh, <laughs> Send <that's>, it. <laughs> I went in to uh, organize the ice cream for the day at the school. So you have to tally all the ice cream and then you have to put it into the bags of each classroom. It was so satisfying because I was doing it by myself. <laughs> it sounds awful. But I could take it slow and do it how I wanted to do it. And I stacked all the bags in a pile to each grade level. And that way it was easy for the teachers to take their bags out. It was so nice. But I, I'm so glad that you understand it because like- Oh yeah, well, who'd you get it from? My Hello? biggest, my biggest <laughs> struggle with currently with my job is that I'm constantly being told I have to check in with other people. I'm like, but this is the right way to do it. Exactly. <laughs> and I just want to organize it. And then I have to like be like, guys, can I organize it this way? And I have to wait. Like, no, just let me do it. And then I and reorganize like, sometimes. You know, you you find out through, that it's yes, yes, because you find out that yeah. oh, I could be doing this like this. better. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you got this? From? I know. 
Trust me, That's I know. That's why I like Excel spreadsheets. And your sister, it cracks me up because she is full on head deep into Excel now. And she absolutely loves it. And she loves organizing and making charts. And, you know, and I guess she's got the eye of the CEO now. So, but because that's how our, I don't know, you've programmed our brains. I just love like, organizing because I've been doing this since I was a kid. I yeah. had an Excel sheet spreadsheet for every collectible and every game I ever had. We used to have them for our chores. <laughs> like I've all oh, I've, I have spreadsheets that are like older than like anything else like because it's the I best have. way to organize well whenever i first showed jd because i have a spreadsheet for bills and yes. i just i've ever since i moved out i created this spreadsheet you have to and have that's one. what i've used since the, i moved out and i showed it to him the first time he was like oh this is how you how keep track of everything? bills without a spreadsheet like, how did you pay all your bills <laughs> how do they do it without a spreadsheet i mean i guess there's apps now but like ah oh, that's stupid it seems unnecessary. It does. When you could just have a table that shows all your your income and all your out your right. expenses, like I'm sure yours is more detailed than mine is because I'm not. I have a lot as more debt. Into no, uh, I'm not as into Excel as what you are. I don't tinker with it enough it's really anymore. Really, just like five. So I have a bills table, an income table. Uh, uh, See, I have a, a line table for of assets essentially which is just like my bank account my oh, 401k okay. like not income so i have what what i'm making on and what days i'm making it the net income or the net value of all of my accounts my credit card accounts and then my debt accounts and then our monthly subscriptions okay now i'm very intrigued i can show it by too. the way it's laid out because i want to see because i have all that stuff but it's very rudimentary Excel. Yeah. I mean, it's very That's all mine is, is basic. Piece. But I have certain things broke out into another spreadsheet I guess that I, I keep track of those. certain things and the payments. So I can show it to you. I mean, it's pretty compact because I don't like spreadsheets that you have to scroll. Yeah, see, that mine is a scroll. A different tab. Mine is, yeah, I love oh, doing that, that. and different <laughs> tabs. I have a hundred different tabs at the bottom because I do a yearly and I keep my old years. I think that's why I never, because I have a spreadsheet for my books yeah. and I never fucking open it as you did and I should. I should actually put it in my journal to actually do every week, but I don't because it's so cumbersome and I need to just move it into a database, but I'm too lazy to do that. I see, I used to do... At Girl Scouts, we did a database, and I liked making databases, but I've never made Should one make personally. Yeah, it's not that complicated. It's just it's, oh, I know it's not, but it's still I've it's never just, done it. If you so. explain it, if, like I bet I could explain it to you in a way that you would understand it completely. No, I understand. I just never have sat down and done it because well, I'll it's just, just tell you it's basically just a fancy Excel spreadsheet. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like I could probably explain it to you in like five minutes yeah. and you would be a genius at it because <laughs> it's I could explain it in a way that it relates to so that's just how I see it anyway. Yeah. I don't know. If that's the correct way to explain it. But for my brain that's how What was that system called? Access. Access, yes. I love it. It's like the worst way to make a database, but it's Oh, I loved it. It's pretty entry level, which is why people use it. We had it for Girl Scouts and I loved it. We did it for the all kinds of things but I loved it because I could I knew how to change things if I needed things changed or you know a box moved or whatever I knew how to do that oh I don't really get into the forms oh, I loved this. it I, I've, I love I've this. spent a lot of time in, in my you career pull. yeah spent a lot of time in my career doing uh, data manipulation just because when you do massive amounts of tickets, you kind of have to be good at that. Thanks. I pulled half the pieces over, and I'm just yeah. going to start. I pulled all the black pieces over because I've oh. been kind of filling in the sides okay. as I've found them. Okay. Just because I, <laughs> it's on my side of the puzzle. I don't. I honestly can't believe it's taken us this long. But although we've been talking we've been, a lot, there was a lot of us just talking. Yeah. Kind of bullshit. We, we haven't seen each other in two weeks. Ex that's a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, we that's definitely so much to uh, catch we, up on. We definitely don't do this every single time. No. I don't 
think so? I mean, you think we do? I mean, there's definitely times where we just, uh, towards the end of like a day, we stop talking as much. Yes, we do more puzzle than we talk at the end of the day. I agree. Which is kind of annoying whenever you're trying to balance episodes, <laughs> but it is what it is. I've just learned to accept it. Okay. I think I the last Earth video I put up was only 22 minutes just because I didn't want to bring in the next day, but I also didn't want to leave in just stupid bullshit of us going, yeah, that piece looks like Antarctica. Oh, yeah. Oh, Corey has requested that the next circle puzzle we do is the moon. Because he really needs the moon by the earth. Maybe we can do that puzzle next. And I was like, I, I Does will he know ask... that the moon puzzle is the same size as Earth? So yes. Okay. I got him cut out. Well, I'm just saying because, like, technically that's wrong, but, like... There... Well, I've got him cut out. We sat down and since he was out of school last week. Um, we cleaned up his playroom and I cut those puzzles out. And he thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I told you he, would he like wasn't it. allowed to touch or be like around what I was doing because he had just like because I had a uh, what's it called the really sharp knife. Uh, oh, what's it called? What's it called? My brain was scalpel, sawzall. <laughs> exactly, it's like a scalpel. <laughs> what is the exacto word? knife. Jesus. Exacto <laughs> knife. Yes, I had an exacto knife. <laughs> And I can tell you that the the board that has the peel away on it yeah. is so much harder to cut. Yeah, because it's thicker too. Um, but my X-Acto blade kept coming out and getting stuck in the puzzle. Or not the puzzle, yeah. but the board. And I was like, what the heck? That happened to me whenever I did, I did one of them. So I had to switch to my cheaper exacto knife because it wouldn't come out and it it eventually started coming out too so i need to get a better blade or another blade for it but yeah he thought that was the coolest thing in the world that i cut those out and their circles and he at first wanted them in his you. bedroom whatever whatever then, you were like give them to Corey. i was like no he'll love these. oh yeah <laughs> and he does he every time i have to show him where we're at in earth and then he says, okay, where's Kelsey? She's in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, she's over here. How did you get there? Nobody knows. So he'll turn it and go, okay. We should get him a globe. Where are we? He would love that. I know. You know, I always wanted to buy a globe for you guys. That was my one, not my one thing. Because the dollhouse was another thing. But I always I wanted to buy a globe. Way. But I never had the money to buy one. So yes, I definitely want to buy him a glow. I did buy a puzzle that I want us to do because it's really an easy puzzle. I just oh, want to make sure all the pieces are there. But I'm going to give it to him. And it's only 100 pieces. Oh. But it's every flag. That's cool. And I think it would be really cool for him for school. Oh, for sure. So. I mean, I didn't learn any of the flags in school, but. You didn't? We had to know them all. I had to know the countries. I still couldn't tell you all of them. No, we had to know the countries and the flag that Actually, went with the country. I don't even know if we had. I guess. I think you did in fifth grade. We didn't know the flags. I think. I know for a fact, I remember very vividly we had oh, to memorize nice. all states' capitals. Right. But I don't know if you had to memorize all the countries. I think they did a lesson on here's all the countries, but I don't think we had to memorize it like we did states and capitals. Huh. My education was very US centric. Well, your education was very different than my education, so. Because they I taught for... I didn't grow up in the Cold War. Well, whenever you started school is whenever they started the uh, tests that um, teachers teach for the test instead of actually they, teaching. They also things. just didn't give a shit about what they taught. They, uh, I took, like a teacher. I'll just say, I took Oklahoma history like three times in high school, and I think that's too many times because okay. Oklahoma history is... It, as presented by America, very, very, very whitewashed. <laughs> it was, it was like, hey, there were Native Americans, but let's not talk about that. Remember when we moved here because the government was like, hey, acres. The Oklahoma land run was a thing that happened. 
I know, but there was a lot of shit before that. <laughs> I understand, but we weren't a state before that. <laughs> so. I, I think it's weird, though. Because there's not enough, I don't think there's enough Oklahoma history. Because we've only been around to, like, Oklahoma's only been around, what, we just had our bicentennial? Oh, uh, Like, don't a couple know. years ago? We've only been around for a couple hundred years. I think it was... As a state. It was, a, or was it just a centennial? Like, was it 1700 or 1800? I think it was 1800 that we... No, I'm not talking about the country. I'm talking about No, I'm talking Oklahoma. about Oklahoma. Yeah, I think... The country was I 1776. Think just, I think we just celebrated our bicentennial, didn't we? Or am I wrong about that? Maybe it was... 1907. Okay, so it was just our centennial. Yeah. Because uh, I, I didn't think we were... I, I didn't think it was 200 years. That because seemed wrong. New York, Pennsylvania... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were the first We ones. just celebrated our centennial. Yeah. Um, Texas, I think. In 2017. I don't know. But anyway, anyway. So we've only been around for 100 years. Right. That does not denote three years of history. You know, three years of history classes. It's, it doesn't. Especially when you skim over all of the Native American stuff. Whenever you're like, hey, Native Americans were here. Bye. Okay. Um, Native Oklahoma. Americans were here in the U.S. before we were. Well, also, there's a the whole trail of tears, but we just kind of ignore that. No, we don't. Whenever I was... That was in, a huge thing in mine. That was an elective whenever we were talking about... What? It, Native American history was an elective. What? Whenever I was in school. That was a huge thing. We learned all about the trail. I mean, we even went out to... I learned about it because I took that class. What was like, it? Uh, so was... What's it, that park name? Hmm? Out in Bartlesville. Willow Rock. Willow Rock. We even went out to Willow Rock and... But Watch like some of it, um, it's very cool. East Asian history was also an elective. Yeah, which is crazy because that's a big part of the world. Well, and, but I mean, that's... and like some of the oldest pieces of civilization are in East Asia history, and it's like, why didn't we but talk that's about not Asia? Our history. But we had no Western Asia history. Nobody talked about Western Asia. I'm like, why is it only East Asia? <laughs> what? What about the rest of? It? We didn't talk I'm about glad China. Ask questions. Well, it's just frustrating because I feel like I had so many gaps and we're supposed to learn all this shit in public school and we didn't. And, we, like, literally the way they te teach history is so segmented that, like, cowboys and samurais were around at the same time. What? But the way they present history Wait, is... what? Yeah, because if you look Isn't at... Isn't still samurais, though? No. Did you not watch The Last Samurai, the movie? <laughs> it's based on historical <laughs> events. Anyway... But okay, they were, you got me on that there's one. There's not okay. cowboys either. Okay. I mean, not technically. Yes, there are. Not, like, not in the sense that there were. You know what I mean? There are cowboys still. Not, I mean, not in the same sense. I don't understand. Kind of. Well, you know how... Ah, this is from video game history. Oh, now. God. It's it's based on real history, just like any movie is. It's it's interesting to me that people will say, like, this movie's based on history, and we'll take that more as historical fact than they would a video game that's based on history, because you get more content out of a video game than you would a movie. I would agree. Anyway, so this game... And is, movie has to have also their dramatic stuff that, yeah. that's and not that's, true. Yeah, and that's what I like about video games, because, like, there's this the video game called Red Dead Redemption. It's based in 1901. Okay. And sometimes you're walking through town and historical shit that happened in those towns just kind of happens in the background. Uh-huh. And it's like, you don't have to pay attention, but it's really interesting. Like, women's suffrage is yeah. a thing that is yes. kind of going on in the background. Like, there's a few side quests that you can help with, but it's just noise in the background, essentially. But it it's like, because you, you're playing as one of the cow cowboys that are in one of the dying-off cowboy groups. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's, cowboys were a thing. Like, cowboy camps who are, like, anti-military, anti-government. Like, the, that's what, whenever I think of cowboys, I think of people who are outside of the law. Because really? they, they live off the land and they... Those are not cowboys. Those are... Oh, they are cowboys. It's just... Those that are... That got co-opted by ranchers. No, cowboys are not co-opted. They are actually... Really? That's what it... The word got... Cow... Boys. Cowboys. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It, the word got co-opted by ranchers. It's not co-opted. That's where it began. The ones you're talking about are... How do you know all the history? No, okay. I I mean... I've yeah, been around longer. Some of them sold cattle, <laughs> sure, but I'm just saying... That's like, how it started. It was, it was a general term for just, like, cowboy groups who were, you know, like, outlaws and stuff. No, outlaws. Those were outlaws. Those were not But cowboys. they were still called cowboys. 
No, they were called. But out. They, you had like cowboy groups because they who lived off. dressed like cowboys, but no, they were outlaws, not cowboys. Oh, now just because they didn't subscribe to the general government. No, because they didn't work a ranch or actually do anything. They didn't work a ranch. They didn't work a legal ranch. There's a difference. (laughs) No, they stole. They did not work. Not not always. You didn't always steal. Sometimes you got stolen from, so you you no and gave retribution. This is where video games kind of blur that line. 